doing. Um, Siri, make an appointment. Alexa, turn off the lights. That it still feels a little bit weird, no? It's still, it's well, still it's, not yeah, there. It's still, it's still, we're still in the beginning of it, and it's, it's, it's still not um, generally intelligent. Meaning, it's not AGI. It, the, you know, Siri is not asking you how your day was and then giving you mm -hmm. um, a big lecture on how to make your life better. Not yet, at least. And so what's happening is we're just at the beginning of this, this conversational AI where you can do basic programming and algorithmic uh, functions by saying, do this for me, right? Those are very easy. The next stage of this is to have some sort of context inside of those algorithms where the AI knows you intimate, intimately. The next stage of that is a, a voice-activated AI that when you come home in the evening, it says, tell me how your day was, and it has a deep contextual conversation with you in a way that Siri and, and Alexa just can't at this point, because they're only doing functional uh, algorithms. They're not, they're not, there's no psychological context for that. But the behavioral data points exist already. So, and, and think about how much data but we've put we, out. We would be getting advice from that at the end? So, so In, it's not just the, the, the listening part, it's also the, the advice that you would be I getting. Think it's, I think it's less of, because the deep desire that people have, and you can see this, is they're, they're really interested in this conversational thing that's happening, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are using it. Um, but what I'm saying is that when you get to a stage where Alexa starts having some sort of persona, some sort of uh, feeling of personhood, and knows you intimately, and asks you to recount your favorite story or tell it that story about when you went to the beach when you were 14 or whatever it is, something that's important to you, then we're in the stage of perceptual computing where Alexa and Siri and Google and all of these different companies are starting to allow the, the AI and the algorithms to actually start to perceptually understand what, who they're talking to. Right now, they're not real. Right. They don't have a personality. It's just um, a voice-activated algorithm. That's all it is. As we move toward the future, we're going to see more AI develop that is closer to the movie Her, where there may be some slight um, algorithmic awareness, if you understand. Mm -hmm. You can't say that machines are going to have consciousness, because what you're saying is a machine is going to have human consciousness. It would never will. It will have machine consciousness. It will mimic us, right. but it will not ever be us because it, it, there, that's two different systems that have evolved differently. Now, you, you said before that it would mimic even our voice, right? Yes. So that's going to be interesting to, to listen to a machine with your own voice. Well, I mean, already there was something that came out recently, uh, I think it was a couple of days ago, where an AI took Joe Rogan's voice and made him speak. You know, the AI was speaking with Joe Rogan's voice and you can't tell the difference. So suddenly we've created these machines, these objects, these algorithms that can see us better than we see ourselves. That's a profound, profound statement because we don't really see ourselves. We don't really know what we are still in this age. We don't know how to behave. We don't know how to get along. We don't know how to be peaceful. There's all these things that we don't know about ourselves. And reality is also a, a very fragmented concept. Your reality is different than my reality. Sure. It's, it's all fractured in a way. But then when you have an AI that can see us and see our unconscious minds in ways that we can't, that we physically can't, because we can't process that amount of information, then suddenly you have a machine in front of you that knows you better than you know yourself. 